Soaring Beyond Expectations. This is the motto of the Cotton Thomas Comprehensive School located in St. Johnson's Village, St. Kitts. Also known as the Special Education Unit, this two-storied institution was built in 1999 and is the home of 99 enrolled students where Principal Michelle Jacobs and her dedicated staff become the guardians of children with physical and mental disabilities. This is our supposedly lift. It's not working. Because it's not working, our students in wheelchairs do not have access to the upper level of the um, school compound. They either have to be taken up, this, up the stairs or they are restricted to the classroom but downstairs. Our activity room computer center is upstairs, and so they are not able to use it because there's no way to get them up. And they are pretty heavy. The mission of the special education unit is to equip each student with the skills that will enable them to live independent lives and to enhance their self-confidence and to boost their self-esteem. We have had to take our computer lessons off of the timetable because we had nothing to work with them. We cannot take all the students and put them around one machine because they, they need the hands-on experiences. Our class size is the largest class is 10. And so, at least if we had five or six working computers, we could put them in peers around the computer. The vision of the Special Education Unit is to promote academic and social learning. This is our supposedly play area. We, um, I did this when I was in college in 2005. However, it has been deteriorating and it's pretty unsafe right now. The children still play inside here, but as you can see, there's nothing inside to play with besides these tires. So we are desperately in need of some materials for the children to play with. I would like to see a slide. You know, those things that you see in little preschools. Little slide, uh, swing set, the crawling through the things, the climbing things, because it also helps to develop their muscles, um, their motor skills, their fine and gross motor skills. So because there are some of them who don't know how to grasp, and some of them don't know how to climb, some of them don't know how to roll. And it also teaches teamwork, doesn't it? Yes, it teaches every kind of skill that you can think of, that they will learn teamwork, togetherness, building themselves individually, building as a group. And sharing their toys. <laughs> that too. <laughs> With Digicel's help, the Special Education Unit Instant Kits will be able to meet certain basic needs for students and a staff room fully equipped with a computer, desks, chairs, stationery, and filing cabinets. This is our staff room. It's supposed to be a place where we have meetings and can come and sit and discuss plans and everything. But however, when we do have meetings, we have to walk with chairs. We have no desks. We have no cupboard space. This is just a cabinet. And we have to pile everything in it because we don't really have space to put anything else. We want to create a safe and healthy atmosphere for our nation's future. Uh, cannot stay up on their own. They just use a stick. Ideally, we would like to have the windows changed, but if that is not possible, some burglar bars would be nice to keep the thieves out. They take anything that they can move with, mostly um, the things that the children use. And what we have also had a case of is that they have actually use the classroom as their bathroom. So we've had to throw away dishes, we've had to throw away toys, learning materials because of the, the nature of the windows and they come in and they just do what they want. A major part of the livelihood of the special education unit is the school's garden where corn and peas are some of the food items that are planted by the staff and students. This is the entrance to our little garden area. As you can see, it has fallen apart as well. So if we plant anything, anybody have access to come in and help themselves to whatever is planted. When it rains, the, roof, the water from the roof comes straight down. So that is why we use the tires. Because 
because when we try to use beds, they will also wash them out. In support of a healthy school feeding program, the Digicel staff has also committed to a field day where gardening will be done to ensure that fruits and vegetables are part of the students' daily diets. We are here today at the Special Education Unit, otherwise known as the Cotton Thomas Comprehensive School. Here we have children who come with special needs. As you have seen, there are several challenges here. Kids come to school on a day-to-day -day basis. They have challenges going to classrooms because there's no ramp facility available. They have no elevators, so the kids in wheelchairs have it really bad. If you look around, you can see that the playground has just a bare stone patch and just a tire. They have an empty garden that's filled with weeds. And as you can see, standing here, we're in an empty staff room that has no furniture, no proper chairs, no proper facilities. With this funding, we will ensure that they have proper facilities, elevators, a proper stair that can take upstairs to classrooms, and a proper playground. And of course, the students and the teachers get a proper staff room that they can, that gives them an environment they can actually work well in. The kids need to be stimulated emotionally and mentally, and we're hoping that with this fund, we can do both. Imagine the possibilities. Children with diagnosed disabilities can now participate in a daily schedule of self-help skills, personal social skills, arts and craft, job skills, and of course, athletics. The Advanced Vocational Education Center, AVEC, is described as a place where high school dropouts complete their education. AVEC is for students in need of a second chance, for those who may not have garnered the requisite subjects for entrance into the local colleges. There are three units that are in dire need of digital assistance to ensure that students are fully equipped with the physical resources to help them achieve and become employable adults. The goal of the Timber Technology Department is designed for students to develop a high level of practical skills with wood and allow the participant to operate their own cabinet making business or be a part of the wider timber related industry. Now, we here, uh, we try to do our bit, but we, we need some. There are some tools that we have, yes, but uh, for the quantity of students, you would want, you, you, you could always do it more. There are also some specialist tools that we do not have, which would, would help to improve the quality. For example, uh, spraying equipment that would help, help us to get, get a better finish for the work. Sanding equipment that would in, uh, enhance the, the overall quality uh, uh, of the work. And not only to produce work, but also so that the trainees would have you know, a, a hands-on experience with the tools because these days everything is technological and, and so out there in the field everybody is into power tools and so uh, we have to keep in step with what, what really is happening out there and the best way to do that is to actually have the trainees working on the type of tools and equipment that they would use out there in the field. Auto Mechanics has a similar mandate. Students who excel in this department are the future automotive service technicians and mechanics, which inspect, maintain, and repair cars and light trucks. The modern vehicles today, they use the technology is a lot more different. You know, because you need dynamic tools and that sort of thing to solve the problem. We don't have that here, so basically we just follow the technology and they work. We have to troubleshoot to find the problems. We need to move a little step. There's a little step. We ain't asking for a big step. There's a little step up that we could get you know, more jobs done and get better results. It will benefit the nation as a whole, eh? because once the children leave here, well trained and well you know, know how to use it, once they go out there, they will see them out there and they know how to use them because every shop out there has for CDC. These places have modern tools, and when they leave, they go to work. They won't be lost with the technology. They'll be just the chap fall right in line because they the see it here, and they go there, and they see it here. 
electronics and electricity are thriving and profitable industries in St. Kitts. There are job opportunities for graduates to work as contractors, managers and engineers within the island's electricity generation sector. To make this, the course uh, completion very successful, it would be good for us to receive uh, uh, electrical uh, devices, um, electrical boxes, wires, um, uh, test equipment especially, tape, all the necessary accessories that, that would enable us to complete the course that we have set out for, uh, the, the program I should say. With the upgrade in these facilities, we're giving each child a second chance. A second chance that can teach them to fish for themselves and ensure that they can provide for their families and also ensure that they can get a job and ensure that job creation makes St. Kitts and Nevis a better place to live, work and also enjoy.